health and care organisations across central Lancashire have been working together to look at how services are delivered. Our partnership is called Our Health, Our Care. We face many challenges in health and social care across the country and we see some of these challenges in central Lancashire too. Health and care staff, along with patients and the wider community, have been thinking about what works well here and what could work better. To do this, we've agreed a future approach, also known as a model of care for central Lancashire. One of the greatest challenges that we face um, within central Lancashire is we have an ageing population which puts additional pressures on both health and social care. We have an increasing population and we've also historically not always worked as well together as we should do between the different agencies that care for the population within our area. When we've met with members of the public as part of our engagement uh, process, they have reflected that um, their loved ones, and, and in some cases themselves, they've spent far too much time in hospitals. Um, others have given us examples of where they've had operations cancelled because of the pressure on our emergency services. Um, and our engagement with um, the public has very much shaped how we've um, described our case for change and how we've um, developed the model of care. Patients, public and staff have been closely involved in the Our Health, Our Care programme, sharing their thinking and exploring ideas through feedback sessions, drop-in events, community meetings and in partnership with organisations such as Healthwatch. We need to tackle the challenges we face if we're to create better outcomes for our community in a way that's financially and clinically fit for the future. Our Health, Our Care is... Um, looking at prevention of ill health so we can have healthier communities with less disease prevalence. This would also mean that we can care for patients better when they become ill. For example, diabetic patients, not a lot of these patients need to actually attend hospitals. We are closely examining the system to look at opportunities where we can provide care closer to home. A lot of the patients that come through the emergency department, we can assess, treat and discharge home, um, either with everything having been done or with some outpatient follow-up. And a huge number of these patients could be looked after in other settings like an urgent care centre. So for example, someone with a chest infection, with a flare-up of their asthma, who's broken a wrist. There are lots of patients who have long-term conditions or have a new diagnosis or suspicion of, of something significant. And what we would love to be able to provide as a, as a system, as a hospital, is specialist rapid access clinics where if someone's control of their condition is getting worse or if they need rapid diagnosis and treatment, they could go directly to the appropriate specialist. Because we're only a part of the system, we're dependent on having free beds in the hospital to move patients through once we've done our part of their care. When the hospital is full, when discharges are delayed, when the community support isn't in place, it all backs up and delays patients' care and their pathway through the emergency department. To get the better outcomes we need, the NHS needs to work together with other services, such as social care provided by the local council. Social workers need to be involved in the discharge of patients from hospital to ensure that it is a safe discharge and that the care and any sort of provisions that they require are uh, assessed and provided by social care. One of the ways we're getting patients discharged more quickly from hospital is, is planning the discharge from the moment that they're admitted to the hospital. We see patients who might be suffering with muscle or joint pain. We work with voluntary sector, we work with mental health partners so that we can make sure that patients are seen by the right professional at the right time. The fact that our service works in an integrated way so the different teams are working closely with each other supports our patients not to have to tell the same story twice. It also means that they can move seamlessly around our service without having to go back to the GP. We recently set up different support groups for patients with chronic conditions and these help to support patients to manage their conditions on an ongoing basis. The good part about the group uh, the NHS provide, it's meeting other people with the same condition. Anybody who feels uh, lost or especially alone, it means that we can meet up with each other and you don't feel so, so alone. It gives you another focus. 
The Our Health, Our Care programme is a really fantastic opportunity for us to ensure that we coordinate the care of our patients right across health and social care. The heart of Our Health, Our Care is ensuring that our patients get the best care that we can possibly provide that's coordinated and seamless for the patient. Our health, our care is looking to the future, exploring ways to improve patient care and patient experience and create better opportunities for staff. If you'd like to know more about our health, our care, please visit our website. Music